Good morning, or afternoon, or evening. I want to welcome you, our old friends, and the new ones we are just meeting, to our Synodality Lecture for the Synodal Process. This is our way of participating in the Synod on Synodality. What an exciting time to be in our church. Pope Francis has issued an invitation to all the people of God to gather and dream together about what our church might become. What the church might become is really another way of saying what we, the people, might become. Synods go back to the very beginnings of our church. The first synod was held when the apostles had to discern whether the male Gentile converts needed to be circumcised. This was something new. Early Christianity found itself in a new cultural context. Acts 15 tells us that the apostles, elders, and the assembly gathered together to discuss the matter. Various opinions were expressed. They listened to one another, and then they decided what the solution, a new course of action, should be. Over time, however, synods came to be associated with gatherings only comprised of bishops. But in the Constitution on the Church, one of the Vatican II documents, the laity, that is the people of God, were restored to their rightful dignity and participation in the life of the Church. Pope Francis wants to implement this understanding of the Church in a deeper way. The Church has moved into a new millennium and has spread to all the cultures of the world. The Pope wants to listen to our experience of the church now. He wants to know our hopes and dreams for it. And so we come together to share our experience of the church today. For by hearing one another's experience, we can discern better where the spirit is leading us, where the spirit wants to lead the church. It can help us to open ourselves to understand how God is speaking to us today in this world, in this time, in this moment, and how God speaks to us now, how God is inviting us to change and grow. This process is happening all over the world at every level of the church. Pope Francis has invited the entire church to reflect on this theme that is decisive for its life and mission. He says, it is precisely this path of synodality which God expects of the church of the third millennium. By journeying together and reflecting together on the journey that has been made, the church will be able to learn through her experience which processes can help her to live communion, to achieve participation, to open herself to mission." End of quote. And so, we will gather to share our reflections on the Sunday Gospel through the lens of synodality on five different Saturdays. We will then summarize our insights and share them with the Archdiocese so that they can be presented to the wider church. My friends, this Sunday's Gospel, Jesus has come down from the mountain where he had just chosen his apostles. When he gets back to level ground, he finds his other disciples and a large crowd who have gathered from all directions. As James Joyce once said about the church, here comes everybody. There you have it, synodality, everyone listening to him together. And what does Jesus preach about? The Beatitudes, his mission statement. And he gives it to all of them without distinction. And so we pray. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, you are our gracious Savior, and you bless everyone who follows your way. We hunger to know you more deeply. Bless us as we gather in your name to better understand your message. Fill us with your laughter. Make yourself at home in our hearts. For with you to guide us, we will come to deeper unity and fulfill your dream for our church. <laughs>